The ITV National News is on the way after the news from where you are. Good evening, you're watching ITV News Central. Two people from Worcestershire caught in a deadly blizzard in Nepal's Himalayan mountains are thought to be safe. Duncan Hedges and Katie Francis from Malvern were reported missing after a blizzard caused avalanches which killed at least 30 people. A friend has written on Facebook that the pair missed the storm and are going to be back next week. The friend says they're currently out of reach because of problems with the mobile phone signal in the area. The Foreign Office says it's been contacted by concerned families who have not heard from the rel their relatives in days but has no information on any British casualties. Thousands of people from the Midlands have taken part in a protest march calling for government cuts to end and for public sector workers to get a pay increase. Teachers, nurses, civil servants and hospital cleaners were among those who marched through London earlier as part of a demo organised by the TUC union under the banner Britain Needs a Pay Rise. With the coming austerity measures and you know the way Britain is currently, more people using food banks, um, it's a show of strength. Obviously, a show of solidarity. The fact that you know you can see all these people here today, it's a show of strength to show that this government currently that the austerity measures aren't working. Things need to improve. One of the Midlands' most successful sportsmen is tonight being inducted into Eng English Athletics Hall of Fame to stand alongside the likes of Seb Coe and Daly Thompson. Blind runner Bob Matthews has returned from his new home in New Zealand to accept the honour in Birmingham. From the ceremony, Gareth Owen reports. Preparing to honour one of our most decorated athletes. Bob Matthews has had an astonishing career. 22 world records, 8 Paralympic titles, over 16 years. And for much of that time he was based at Leamington Spa. Our cameras were there as Bob returned triumphant from the Sydney Games in 2000 with a gold and two silvers. I hope they'll be, um, they'll, they'll be pleased with uh, what, I've, what I've achieved for... You know, for, the, for Leamington, for England, for Great Britain. And we were there again as he prepared for Athens four years later. A man who lost his sight at the age of 18, but went on to dominate his sport. The easiest thing to do is to give up. And, you know, that's... I could have, I could have gone that way, it, it, but it, and it, you know it's tempting. But you know, the the worst thing, one thing worse than quitting is, is you know, if you do quit, um, you you feel the pain forever. And you know, I I've learned throughout the years that that's not an option. Um, you know, and I'm I'm uh, and I'm just lucky that lucky and you know I, I to have had the talent and then to have been prepared to push myself and push myself you know as far as I can. Here you are being inducted into this Hall of Fame here in the Midlands, what does that mean to you? I'm, I feel incredibly proud and, and honoured to receive this honour. It's, I mean it, it reflects a lifetime in the sport but it's, it's not just for me, you know, I, I want to dedicate it to all my guide runners who've, who've made it possible. It you know, really has been teamwork and, and it also is for you know, the people who sacrifice so much, you know, my family. Bob retired in 2004. He's now beginning a career as a guest speaker. But the astonishing achievements spanning three decades now have a permanent place in the Hall of Fame. Gareth Owen, ITV News, Birmingham. On to football now and in the Premier League this afternoon, Aston Villa lost 3-0 at Everton, their fourth league defeat in a row. Phil Jagielku, Romelu Lukaku and Seamus Coleman got the goals for the home side. In the Championship, Birmingham lost 1-0 at Bolton, while Wolves threw away a three-goal lead, drawing 3 all at Millwall. Comgy lost to League One leaders Bristol City, Sean Miller getting the goal for the Sky Blues. Port Vale lost 2-0 at Preston, while Walsall were beaten at home to Crewe 1-0. And now it's time for a look at the weather forecast. Here's Manali Luca.
Hello there, good evening to you. We're seeing some pretty mild temperatures this weekend, but on the downside, breezy with rain or showers at times. So through the course of this evening and overnight, it's looking largely dry. Fairly cloudy skies, but some clear spells too. And to the south, the cloud thick enough to produce some outbreaks of rain, but it will be a mild night ahead. And then for tomorrow, a bit of a slow start to the day, but the cloud breaking up to give us some bright spells of sunshine. The winds will start to pick up through the course of the day. It will be a mild start and into the afternoon perhaps a few showers developing but they will be few and far between most places staying dry it will be quite windy through the afternoon but mild temperatures reaching highs between 16 and 18 degrees celsius and then we're keeping a very close eye on how things develop on monday a large part of the day will be dry perhaps a few showers around but you can see this low pressure system out towards the west it's remnants of ex hurricane gonzola as it's tracked across the atlantic it has lost a lot of momentum but if i move the chart onto monday Monday night it moves closer to the UK to the north and west and it will bring a spell of some wet and windy weather Monday night into Tuesday. Now Tuesday is looking particularly windy the Met Office have issued a weather warning we could see some disruption to travel for a time and through the course of the week generally it is staying quite windy quite unsettled with further rain or showers. Have a good evening. And that's it from us. We're back tomorrow. Don't forget you can log on to itv.com slash central to catch up with all the latest news, travel and weather for the West Midlands. You'll also find links to our Facebook and Twitter sites where you can have your say about the stories that we're covering. For now though, have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.